Go, go. Come on. Good morning, everyone. Um, today is Thursday. I actually woke up earlier than I've been waking up. I've kind of said this in vlogs, but since all this has happened, it has just been so difficult for me to get up early lately. I've been waking up around like nine. And for me, that's really late. Like I'm a morning person, you know? So it's kind of been like not good. Um, anyways, if you guys are new here, subscribe. I'm gonna take you guys through a vlog a day in my life. So this morning, um, I woke up around like 7.30 and then I made coffee. It's nine. I've just been in my office doing my morning reading. I read New Morning Mercies, then my Bible, and then Cross the Chatterbox by Stephen Furtick. You know when you just like really need to read something and everything you read like fully lined up with that? You know what I'm saying? It was really incredible. But I actually have a virtual doctor's appointment today. I really need to be treated for something, but I was gonna like make the appointment and stuff when I got back from Nashville and then all the corona stuff happened. And so I was like, okay, I'm definitely not gonna like take up the doctor's time. My stepmom's actually a doctor. So I called her today because basically, I'll probably talk about this later in the vlog. It got really, really bad. And I called her or I texted her. And she was like, oh, no, no. Like, there's still people who can treat you. We're going to get you, like, a video appointment today. And I was like, are you sure I'm not, like, being selfish, you know? And she was like, no. Like, So, I have a virtual doctor's appointment today. Um, I'm about to go work out downstairs. That's another thing. I've been feeling so off and I haven't been doing my workouts. I woke up this morning and I immediately put on, like, my workout clothes. I have biker shorts on under my sweats. But... So that I would be ready to go. But anyways, I have a new podcast coming out today as well. It's my solo episode that I recorded in my last vlog. Um, just about this whole thing. It's like a nice pep talk. Um, ways to make the best of it. That sort of thing. But also like how to help. How to fight loneliness. Like stay mentally healthy. All of that stuff. Um, which is literally so ironic because yesterday I cried for 30 hours straight. Well, I guess more than one day. But anyways. Anyways, I'm going to go downstairs and we're going to work out. It's gonna be really incredible. I'm gonna put it on my TV and use my new Lululemon mat, which I'm really excited about, and probably do like a hot Pilates workout type of thing. I think I just really need to. So, clearly I had a rough day yesterday. I didn't vlog, and this morning after I work out, I actually finally have my way hair oil in, and I got a Summer Fridays mask, um, just the jet lag one, I already have that, and then, and then the CC cream. So, I'm gonna do like a nice, Kind of like refresh, shower, morning routine. Like, oh, I need to blow that candle out. You know when you like do everything and then you feel so unbelievably amazing? Like a spa morning. I don't know why I can't speak. So that is what I'm doing this morning. And I'm taking you guys through um, kind of the process, what products I'm using, all of that stuff. But before that, I'm going to do my nice um, workout, which is going to be really incredible. Also, like, guys, I always have self-tan around my chin. How do you get that off? Like I exfoliate, but like what exfoliators are you guys using? Cause clearly the ones that I'm using are not working. The way the sun hits my house is like so beautiful in the mornings, but it actually is like burns my, it actually gets like really hot sometimes. So anyways, I'm just gonna light a candle. I think I'm actually gonna bring this to my room. So I don't have a candle up there and I feel like that would just be better in my room. So we'll see. We have Quentin's piano that's just, really in the way now. All right, so I have my Lulu mat, Coco's dog toys are there, um, and a resistance band. I'm going to actually use my TV today. I know I can bring it out. I'm, I've never moved it. I'm always afraid to move it. Anyone else have this fear? All right, so I'm gonna go on YouTube and play a Hot Pilates video. Um, I wanna try out Melissa Wood Health, but I need to stop paying subscriptions because when I met with my financial advisor, I realized that I spend so much money on subscription services altogether. So I need to figure that one out. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the 30 minute classical Pilates sequence with Shannon on the Hot Pilates YouTube channel. At home workouts are actually so hard, not gonna lie. On the next inhale, bring your knees into your chest. Extend your legs out, eat five, and exhale, stretch. Two, three, great hamstring curl strengthener. This is like really making me miss LA, but I'm so glad that I'm not there right now <laughs> to be stuck in my house. Okay, so I did one 30 minute video. I think I'm gonna do, I really wanna do a booty band one. That's like 10 minutes, 15. We will see if they have that. I really love band work. It's like really fun for me. See, I don't have any weights either right now. 
Okay, I'm just gonna do this one that's shorter. Whatever. It's still a booty band one though. I really love these. I know it's bleeding. Make sure you feel safe. Lift as you bend your knees. Focus on your inner thigh muscle. I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh, it was actually really hard. So, I need to sweep and get catch my breath. Oh my god. Guys, I am so mad. Somehow, Sephora shipped my package to the wrong address. Like, it's one number off. And I know for a fact I wouldn't have put that address in because that mine isn't, it's just not the same thing or at all. So, who knows if I'll ever, ever, ever get that package, which sucks so bad because that was like $100. Like, try to not recognize my addresses all the time. It's so annoying. And I really just wanted that new stuff. So, anyways, that sucks. On the bright side, my Barefoot Dreams socks came in. I don't have any fuzzy socks, and I decided to treat myself with some Barefoot Dreams ones. So that is what I'm gonna be probably wearing today. I'm gonna sweep really quick. Like, I just want these things so bad. Your worst move because you have lost your mind. You know what I mean? So it's like the good part about All right, everyone, the show must go on, unfortunately, with or without my Sephora package that got delivered to my neighbors, and I don't know if I'll ever see it again. So. All right, I'm in my bathroom now. Um, I'm gonna use the Sonia Dakar Radiance Mask. I really wanted to use a hydrating one, but like I just need to up my mask collection in this house. Also, I hate white nails, and I only got these because my nail tech was like really stressing me out. So I was just like, oh, white, because I didn't even have time to look at the colors. You know when they like stress you out really bad? That's what happened to me, and that's why I ended up with white nails. And I need to figure out how to take them off. But anyway, so I'm gonna do this mask get in the shower, exfoliate, do the whole thing, and just feel so good after. All right, I'm out of the shower. I put on my face mask. I already feel so much better. Um, I think I'm actually going to kind of slightly do makeup. All right, so I was just watching some vlogs, but I thought I would do a really quick get ready with me. This is basically like the morning after you had like a really bad day, and you're like really, especially in quarantine, because like we have all the time in the world. Um, and you're just really trying to get yourself feeling better, back in the swing of things. And I really think, as far as like mental health wise goes, a lot of the time, like it really makes a big difference to like fully get ready and stuff for me. Sometimes it really just depends. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about a few products I've been loving. I tried them, and I think the last vlog that I posted. Well, how did I even get that on my shirt? Literally, what? Yeah, you guys can't see, but there's something on my shirt. Um, I tried them on my last get ready with me portion of the vlog and I really love the product. So the first one is this Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. This stuff is literally amazing. Um, I'm really on a kick of theirs because they sent me all their like hero products and I've been trying them and I just think they're incredible. So this, the way I would describe it, if you guys are familiar with the Becca Backlit Primer, sometimes when I put that primer on, I'm like, oh, I wish this was the foundation and it had just like a slight bit of coverage and that is exactly what this like soft glow thing is it like does not look like you're wearing any makeup it's definitely buildable though like it just makes your skin look a lot healthier and just like i don't know naturally better <laughs> i'm really good at this this is why i don't do makeup tutorials so i'm putting on like a little bit more just for some more coverage on my cheeks but i don't want a full face of makeup on anyways so this is kind of perfect it's like a really great middle ground Basically, think of it as like a tinted moisturizer, but less coverage, but your skin looks like phenomenal. Been watching Remy's vlogs lately. Love a good moving vlog. Seriously has been a great addition to quarantine. I'm gonna quickly brush up my brows. I need to clear, I need to get my brows done. So you know when you need to get your brows done and every time you brush them out with um, a tinted gel, they look crazy? Yeah, that's me right now. So I'm really trying to just make the best of it. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna use my A Cosmetic CC Cream. Anyways, I've really been loving her moving vlogs lately. So fun. I've definitely put on a little bit too much concealer. Guys, I want that Dyson Air Wrap. Look at my hands right now with this stuff. Um, I want the Dyson Air Wrap so bad. I'm so mad at myself because I got just the um, hair dryer for Christmas and it's like far too late to return it. And with the Dyson Air app, it does both. But everyone who has it, it's like literally the perfect blowout and it would actually change my life. Like I would do my hair like that every single day and I would love it. 
but I feel like I can't like I have the hair dryer and I don't want to spend like $600 on a hair tool but I'm really debating it every single day because I would use it every single day and I just need it so bad guys like I think about it all the time I keep watching tutorials on it TikToks guys TikTok is changing my life actually it's really taking over I wouldn't say it's changing my life but it's taking over for sure um if you guys don't already follow me on TikTok, what are you doing? It's Kenzie with Hay. You guys should be following me on TikTok, but. Okay, I'm gonna lightly brush over with some powder. Okay, next up, I really, really love this. I showed this in my last vlog as well. The Charlotte Tilbury, the Sculpt and Highlight palette. I, um, I definitely linked this in the last one. I'm getting so hungry, guys, oh my gosh. This highlight is beautiful. I need a better brush, but like, see? Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I guess I'm not putting a blush on today. Actually, I will, but I just never put my highlight on first. I have, again, the Charlotte Tilbury blush. I'm just, like, really such a big fan of their makeup right now. I think it's really killing it. Um, yeah, and that is it for my look. I feel like my skin is just so dry. That's why I wanted my jet lag mask. Hopefully, we get that today. On some mascara. I need a new mascara so bad, like... That is it for today. I Fun fact, guys, my outlets in my bathroom have not worked my entire time of living here. And I've like re done all this stuff in the garage with the fuse, whatever. Um, and that hasn't worked. And I must just be doing something wrong. But I... So that's why I just like don't dry my hair, even though I probably wouldn't anyways. But it definitely has Charlotte Tilbury perfume. Um, so like that's really annoying of me. But... Yeah, I just want my dad to come over and do it for me because it clearly something is just like going on, you know? Coco just sits there and waits for me. Where are my slippers? Oh, over here. See, that's why my Dyson, oh my gosh, I actually look crazy. So my Dyson's right there because my outlets don't work. So I have to dry it right there, but I'm just not gonna do that today. I'm not feeling it. Okay, I'm gonna do this. All right, this is my look for the day. I took my slippers off because like, I actually do look crazy, but I will be wearing this around my house. So, um, the slippers are from Amazon. If you guys didn't see my last vlog, literally $30, and there's another pair for $20 that I also ordered. So, those are linked down below. Barefoot Dream socks. These sweats are outdoor voices. My shirt is just this oversized, like, black t shirt from Misguided. It's a really good shirt to wear, like, post self tanning or something, but I'm gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast. Alright, so I'm listening to Mood. I just made some breakfast. I think I'm actually going to take it upstairs. Um, this morning, I actually did a little morning routine on my Instagram story. So, if you guys are not following my Instagram already, 100%, you really should, guys. Kenzie Elizabeth, go follow. So, during this time, I'm, like, really thinking of the house projects and stuff I want to do. So, really weird thing happened. Okay, I ordered all of my office furniture on Overstock, as we know. Everything came in besides the chair. Oh yeah, the little small, not nightstand, but like little small table that I was planning on putting by my chair came in, but I don't want to open it yet because you'll see. Basically, they emailed me and said, and originally it was like one to four weeks for shipping, and they emailed me and said, hey, we can't get you your chair in that time, but they didn't give me like a time that they could give it to me in. So I was like, okay. I was like, okay, fine. Totally get it. And then they were like, you need to call and either get a re refund or something. You have to call and figure it out, which the email was not very helpful. And then I got an email. I think I woke up to it today and you see saying that my order had been shipped. So I don't know what that means. I really hope that I still get this chair. I mean, obviously I can get a new chair. It's like not the worst thing ever. It's like so early on that I don't actually have tracking on it yet. It does say your order shipped, so I'm confused. Um, so I think the chair is coming. I'm not really sure. So then I was like, I really want to figure out and plan out at least what I want to do with my rooftop because it's just really something. So I think I'm at least going to make like a board today and figure it out. I've pretty much finished most of my work. Um, I have a new podcast out today though. That's my solo episode that you guys need to listen. If you guys don't listen to my podcast, please go listen. So there's that. And then I also kind of want to do the gym in my garage, but like I'm not made of money. And part of me wants to buy all this stuff before, which I'm not trying to like online shop a ton, but part of me wants to buy all this stuff before my financial advisor gives me like a budget. You know what I mean? So we'll see. I need to figure that out. I'm going to make a plan today of everything that I need to buy and all the stuff that I still need for my house. Basically, I think, oh, let's see when my chair is coming in for my bedroom. 
Oh, I have to do it on my laptop. The way that you track like shipping and stuff from article clothing or article is very odd, so I have to do it from my laptop. But anyways, I'm gonna go upstairs and get some work done. It smells really good. I also need all new candles really quickly, rapidly running out of all of them. All right, guys, so I'm in my office. I just got onto this like portal. I, I don't know, I had to call my doctor's office and I can basically do a doctor's appointment online. But, um, or like with an app, which I guess is still online. But anyways, I FaceTime Morgan for a second. I've been looking at furniture for my rooftop. It is so expensive. Also, like, I don't know, I kind of want to go. I just like don't know what I want to do. I can't, like, I find like a table I really like and then I don't find like other things to match it or vice versa. And I don't want to buy a full set because a full set is like way more expensive. And also I don't need as much because it thinks it's for like a pool. So I'm just gonna keep searching. Also, I found a rug that I think I like for in here and I'm kind of getting more of a vision of what I want this place to look like, which is also exciting. So that's how I've been spending my day. Sending out my email newsletter. Join the mailing list if you guys haven't already. You guys are missing out big time. But the Barefoot Dreams blanket, uh, Barefoot Dreams socks are actually so comfy. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I just in fact realized that I'm still a college student, unfortunately. So I'm gonna do homework. I think for the next few hours, I want to get everything done so I can hopefully just kind of relax. Um, I was on the call with my doctor. I'm waiting for the actual appointment. I don't know when that's going to be and I don't know like when they tell me, but I'm going to do homework until then so I at least have all of this done and I don't have to worry about it. I literally hate the classes that I'm in this session. I feel like this vlog has been negative a little bit. I'm really sorry. Um, I've really just not been loving the classes that I'm in this semester like at all. All right, so I'm currently working on a project that I somehow didn't even know I had um, and cooking some pasta. So I know you guys see me make vegetables and pasta all the time with brown rice pasta because it's like my favorite go-to meal. Also, if I have a day where I'm just by myself, it's really nice because I make it for lunch and I'm someone who can eat the same meal over and over again clearly and then I'll have it also for dinner or at least have leftovers, you know, so... That's what I'm doing currently, and then I'm going to go spend more time doing homework. I'm going to make matcha today because I do have some matcha. I'm not sure if this is good matcha by any means, but we're going to try it. I also don't have a whisk, so we're really roughing it. All right, watching Brooks vlog. I'm going to put this away for later. That's my lunch right now. It looks really good. It's 2 p.m. I just wrote a paper. I did a bunch of schoolwork. I just, like... Can't do anymore, which is fine because things aren't due until it's Thursday now and things aren't due until Tuesday. So I think I'm just going to do a little bit on like Monday or Tuesday of that stuff. Um, I have my doctor's appointment on an app in 21 minutes. So I have to check in there. And then after that, I'm thinking that I might just like read and chill for the day because my podcast went up. Oh, I do need to, I haven't mailed out the um, newsletter, I realized. So I'll send this out right now. All right, guys, again, another shot from the desk. Um, I just had my doctor's appointment. Anyways, I have noticed, I mean, I already kind of know what it is. I went to the doctor, so I feel like I can really say this at this point. My stepmom's also a doctor. So anyways, my periods lately, this, this, I don't think this is like a TMI conversation, but if someone thinks this is weird, whatever. Um, I'm just saying this because I went so long thinking this is normal so the week before my period i like i literally i'm on, been on the verge of tears all day like for no reason i literally cried guys from today's thursday from tuesday night probably around like 5 p.m off and on until last night at like 8 p.m even in my sleep i would like wake up and cry but I, when I was younger, I never had any problems like emotionally with my period. I never had like mood swings or anything like that. And then over the past, probably since like last summer, the week before my period, I'm like, <laughs> someone's at my door. <laughs> the week before my period, I'm just like so anxious and so depressed and all this stuff. So I'm on medicine to kind of treat premenstrual dysphoric disorder. And basically it's everything that I'm saying. It's just like really, really, really heightened. Um, it's just like really, really heightened emotion. You guys can look it up, but basically, not normal. I was like, oh, maybe this is normal because like I've just never been emotional before, or whatever. And like it just got so bad. And then I finally talked to someone, and they were like, yeah, that's literally not normal. So, yeah, that is that. Um, anyways, 
So I'm glad they called in a prescription for me today and I'm going back on meds, which I've been on meds before, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm gonna go downstairs and see what all this fuss is about. Setting you up in my Hydro Floss, hopefully this isn't awful. The package is my misguided package. I feel like I might have another. I got 11 items. Excuse the piano right now, guys. I got 11 items for $100. So I realized that while I thought I only had loungewear, I actually had none. And this was like too good of a deal to pass up. Okay. A black little tee. I got this white like long sleeve. I need some sort of cute bra umbrella to wear underneath it because it's definitely see-through. This cute little pink tank top that I thought was gonna be much bigger, but it's that is not gonna be really big enough for my boobs, but it's fine. It's really impressive. So that tank top was supposed to be to match these pink misguided sweats, which are really cute. I got them in a size six because I like having my sweats be a little bit oversized. So these are really cute. I'm gonna have all of this linked down below. And I just got this white tank top, a black tank top, same sweats in blue because I thought they were so cute. I got a black pair of sweats that are not the same ones. They don't say misguided on them, but they're still really cute. I'm really impressed by the quality of these sweats. I'm so picky, as we know, when it comes to sweatpants, and I'm actually really impressed by these. Then I just got a little white tee, the same as that black one. I got this black long sleeve top, which I also thought was perfect. I'm literally gonna live in all this stuff, guys. And the last sweats I got are probably gonna be my favorite. They're so soft. There's no tie though, which I didn't realize. So a US six, I hope that these still fit like my waist, I think they will. Um, they're just these really cute like gray sweatpants that I love. So that was what I will be wearing the remainder of however long we're gonna be in this quarantine. I don't mean to spread rumors, but I just cannot imagine us actually being done with this by, well, first off, Dallas is only on a stay at home thing until April 3rd and I, Really cannot imagine that being the end like they're just that literally wouldn't make sense So anyways, not me to spread rumors guys, but I'm just saying don't think that's happening So I'm gonna do some dishes and then it is only 2 34 And I have nothing really to do. I did all the homework I'm willing to do today and I have nothing to edit my podcast is up Normally in this time, I give myself more things to do because there's always things to do when you work for yourself, but I'm actually gonna say no. I don't want to. I mean, just kidding. I'm gonna work for my iPad, but I'm also gonna watch the Little Fire show. Why do I keep getting the name of that show wrong? I don't know, I'm gonna watch that. I don't know, I'm really relaxed today. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna finish reading my Dolly Parton book. That is what I'm gonna do. All right, so um, a few things, guys. One, I'm gonna start and try to make some matcha. I really, really, really want to have my like recess CBD drink thing, but unfortunately, I only have one left. I just only have one left, and I'm not willing to waste it. Not even like waste necessarily, but I have to really savor it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna try to make some matcha for my afternoon drink, which I really need to start doing anyways. Um, wow, would you look at that? I've been watching some TikToks lately. When it comes to drinks, I'm actually an idiot. I'm like, I don't know how to make that. Also, I really hate myself for leaving my Nespresso in LA. That's just like really sucks. Okay, for some reason on TikTok, I keep seeing all these arranged marriages TikToks. Like, does someone wanna explain to me? Okay, so What The Health is one of my favorite Instagrams to follow. Love her. She made a how to make a homemade iced matcha latte. The really tragic part of this is that I don't have ice, so I'm, yeah, we'll just have to, you know, figure it out. I also don't have a whisk, so uh, this is probably gonna be a fail. But uh, we're gonna see. I remember that my older man and I used to make, well he showed me, we used to make this really good like matcha from Target. So I'm gonna try to make it that way and I'll let you guys know what I end up thinking about it. I don't actually wanna record myself doing it because like I don't wanna get ripped to shreds. Oh, what I was gonna say though is that I really feel like I wanna be an adult and I wanna be someone who like knows wines and like drinks wine like and they cook and stuff and like the wine that I get is 
literally like people who drink wine are probably like that's so embarrassing because it's like so sweet and blah 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 whatever I'm not really the biggest drinker but I would love to become like a knowledgeable adult who socially drinks I feel like so many people are that so would love your input would love some drink ideas what's easy to make things like that because I also like entertaining so I need to like know how to do this before summer hits because I just think it's important and a good skill to have and I'm really bored not that I'm even gonna like make this I guess during this time because I'm not gonna go to like the liquor store but would love to just kind of like do some research you know so anyways I'm gonna make some matcha all right guys I made my matcha I'm gonna put some honey in and then even some cinnamon because my girl on um, what the health did that so I feel like that's what I should do guys I changed my mind I'm so excited because Ashley Graham pretty big deal we know that I love it um Scooter Braun is on so I'm actually gonna watch this and work on my always, oh my gosh this episode is sponsored by my go-to work on my like plans for furniture and stuff all right guys so it is now almost 11 p.m i have been watching nashville i cooked dinner i didn't vlog that i did do a lot of stuff in between i didn't just sit on the couch for like seven hours even though i kind of wish i would have but hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog um i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys soon bye